Chris Henderson, chendo.com. Welcome back, Maxi. Um, just this offseason, obviously <clears throat> didn't win a championship, but then you get the news, like Thompson's coming to, to the team. Just what were your initial thoughts and just seeing how this team has shaped since you've been here? You've seen all kinds of type of teammates. Now this team's at the point where it's either championship or bust. Yeah, I mean, over the years, obviously my first two years were a little bit rougher. Um, but after that, I think, you know, with Luca coming in, um, the team kept growing and growing. Uh, last year, obviously, was a great experience, um, but a very sad ending. You know, we had overall a really good season, but what you took home from that season was the disappointment of losing in the finals. Um, and, you know, with, with the new additions, with Clay as a new addition, we have a uh, new experience. He knows what it takes to win championships. And I think his expertise can help us as a team um, to move forward and, and build on what we did last year. Maxi, uh, over here. Uh, you, uh, after last season watching uh, Derek Lively have the strong rookie season that he did uh, and his upward trajectory, the way it's going now, how do you view the the center position, which you're obviously a part of as well, uh, and and the, uh, the 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 surplus of of, of strong talent you guys have uh, have there? I mean, I don't think it's just the the big position, but any position we we're, we're really deep. Um, so now it's about you know fitting in within the whole system. Everybody got to know their role. We got to understand how to play together. Um, there will be a lot of competition, but. You know, competition with other teams, but also like inside because we have so much talent. Um, Gaff, late, um, Gaff and, and Lively, DP, me, PJ, you know, we have a lot of tall guys, big guys. Um, but specifically to uh, D Live, you know, it's it's been just amazing seeing him grow last year. Um, he came in already playing really, really well, and then he just kept getting better and better. And I think he surprised a lot of people. And, uh, you know, just seeing him this off offseason, um, the, the workouts and pickup games that we played, he's he's in really great shape and he's going to continue where he where he left off. And, you know, it's it's a privilege to playing with him and having a guy like Luca and Kyrie who can find him. Um, you know, that combination makes them very dangerous and it's a lot of fun to play with them. Maxi Dana Larson here with Mavs TV. Um, I wanted to ask you about taking training camp on the road again now for a second straight year. Just the benefits you think um, that might be involved there and, and go in this week to Vegas. And, and second part, um, Luke obviously has an incredible year last year. His career is on this, you know, amazing trajectory. What does it take for him, do you think, uh, to, to really be considered and, and maybe win an MVP? Um, well, first of all, you know, a travel as a team always is a good way to bond. Um, I'm happy that the flight is not as long this year. Um, it's a little bit shorter, um, but you know, you just have extra time with your teammates. You're going to be on the road. You're going to have dinners. You're going to hang out. Um, it's a it's a different situation to to come together as a team. So I think that's really helpful and a plus for us. Um, and to Luca, uh, I think in many in many people's eyes, he already is an MVP and played like an MVP. And I think he did that. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's it's small little factors that play into those kind of decisions. Um, I think the way he played last year and how he how he carried us uh, to the playoffs and where we got, you could have made a big, big argument for him to win the, to win the MVP. Um, but, you know, I'm not making the decisions. Um, I would have voted for him for sure as my teammate. Um, but I think, you know, it's like I said, it's small factors and everybody has a little bit of a different opinion. But um, the way he played, just going by basketball, I think he would have deserved it. Maxie, uh, first of all, how's your foot? Uh, and secondly, what was your biggest uh, off-season focus? Uh, my foot is good, feeling good. Um, my biggest focus was to, first of all, after the long season, spend time with the family. Um, that's what I did. So I'm um, just hanging out with them most of the time and then come back here early and get in shape for the next season. WaynePriceMath.com. Maxie, Spencer Dinwiddie played a major role on you guys advancing to the conference finals a couple of years ago. What's it like from your perspective and having him back and what kind of impact you think he'll have this season? I think he can have a really big impact because besides of the, the basketball talent that he is, you know, he's a really, really great teammate, good locker room guy, um, keeps the spirits positive 
And, uh, you know, his expertise, obviously, from two years ago and when we played together, he knows the system will help us as well. But overall, you know, he also understands, like, the whole dynamics that are going on, um, the positions that we have. Uh, he knows that we have Luca and Kyrie on the one and two playing, right? So um, he's, he's the one who will sacrifice himself for the team and will not let his spirits down ever. So just having guys like him is really helpful in order to, to do what we want to do. Right. right here. Last one for Maxi. Right here in the front. Valencia King, Real Talk Sports. Thank you for your time today. You've been a part of this team for a while. You've been in the league for a while. So as you approach this new season, is there a bit more ease heading into it? You kind of know where you're doing, knowing what you're doing. It's kind of like a bit of a more routine. So would you say there's a little bit more ease? I would s yeah, I would say a little bit more ease when it comes to media day. <laughs> um, overall, you know, I think that's why basketball is so fun. Like little changes can change a whole team dynamic. So we have new additions. We were we were uh, very successful last year, but you know it takes a lot of work and focus for us to do the same thing again. And you know we got to include everybody. So there's always like a new challenge every season, and you can literally say it like that. Um, so we I don't think it should be ease or easy. Neither one of them. I think you just have to continue focusing and take everything serious because also because of the success last year you know teams are looking at us and saying like hey we want to beat them today so um you know it takes a, a good mental approach for us to do the same thing again so i think nothing is in this league ever ease or easy yeah thank you guys awesome thanks maxi